La gente me estaba criticando, me dijeron que algo aquí me hace falta Porque el otro día fue un evento y decidí engancharme una falda Hello everyone and welcome to episode 25. I'm your host Alanized and this is Noche de Pendejadas. Para todas las pendejas allá en casita que se están preguntando qué chingados es esto, escuchen pendejas porque les voy a explicar. Noche de Pendejadas is a weekly episodic show where I go ahead and bring your favorite influencers to chismear, have a cocktail and see what the fuck they've been up to. So si tú quieres ver a tu influencer favorito, hazme un pinche favor pendeja and stop whatever you're doing and drop their usernames down below. La semana pasada, you guys, les traje una invitada super chingona y esta semana les traigo a alguien just as exciting. Please help me <laughs> welcome tonight's guest, Fabio Guerra! Yeah. Hey, imagino guys, que me pusiste aplausos, right? Yeah, yeah, aquí bueno, la gente está bueno. aplaudiendo, you guys. Si no aplaudieron, I'll put a little sound effect. Bueno. Pero van a aplaudir, you guys. We've rescheduled, ¿cuántas veces? Pienso Bro. que nomás una vez, ¿no? No, yeah, once. We una rescheduled vez. once, una you guys, vez. but we made it fucking happen. Para todos ustedes, allá en casita que no conocen a Fabio I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to him para que les diga un poquito más de quién es y qué hace en español o en inglés como tú quieras eh, en español primero eh, bueno me presento me llamo Fabio Guerra soy eh, un chavalito de 20 años originario de Honduras, nacido en Honduras, criado en Honduras. Vine a los Estados Unidos en el año 2015. Desde ese entonces siempre he tenido esa vena artística, esa ganas de, de, de brillar en frente del público y por eso me encuentro haciendo las cosas que me encuentro haciendo a día de hoy. Muchas gracias por la oportunidad de, de poder expresar esto aquí en este programa y, y venimos con todo. Ese soy yo, ese, ese que viene con todo, ¿viste? A little bit more, ¿cómo nos conocimos nosotros? I feel like we have a lot of friends in mutual. Primarily tu novia. Yeah, you know my, yeah I mean? my girlfriend. So, si ustedes no saben, you guys... Fabio es novio de a uh, guest that we've had on the show. Oh, yeah, she's been here. Yeah. She's been <laughs> yeah, on she's the been show, here. you guys. Desde ahí nos conocimos un poquito. And, you know, we've partied here and there. Yo nomás conozco a Fabio de lo que miro en el internet, de lo que ellos nos enseñan. By the way, I love your fucking pranks. Appreciate um, it. Pero hoy, you guys, quiero saber un poquito más de Fabio. You know, I want to get to know more you the person, not just you the creator, not just you the artist. Quiero conocerte un poquito más. I want to start off with your childhood. Quiero que nos digas un poquito de cómo fue tu niñez and what you were doing before you were doing everything that you're doing now. Speaking about my childhood, uh, I had a very, a very happy childhood. You know, if, from my perspective, I, I really lived it very happy. Maybe I didn't have access to uh, a bunch of things, most things that, that kids nowadays grow yeah. up with. And uh, it was a challenging childhood in a, in, a, in a way in a sense you know very humble very humble environment that I grew up in you know a, a dirt street you know that's how it was the really mi colonia era, uh -huh. era calle de tierra crecí en calle de tierra pero nunca me faltó nada igual aunque vivíamos muy humildes y, y muy y muy en, en, en un espacio pequeño es nunca Nunca me faltó nada, siempre tuve zapatos, siempre tuve ropa, siempre comí, eh, nunca me faltó nada. Pero sí, muy humilde lo, los principios de, de, en mi niñez. Eh, me dedicaba mucho a, a jugar juegos. I love playing games. Uh, video games, you know, like, the, like when video games were barely starting. Like, like Call that, of you know? Duty shit. No, not even, not even. Like, like, like Nintendo 64. Oh, shit. Like, like Mario oh, Kart. Yeah, uh, even okay. though, like, I know that there was already, like, a new gen by the time that I was, like, uh, like a kid. But we didn't, we couldn't afford that, you know? Yeah. So, like, I had a Nintendo 64. Then I had a GameCube. Always a, a very friendly uh, friendly kid like I owe, like I never had difficulty on making friends that's not where I, where I wanted to be I never wanted to be around people when I was little like that and it wasn't in my interest to go out and play with the kids like I was a lot by myself I, I enjoyed time by myself and since I was little I've always um, known myself very well because I spent a lot of time in my head thinking about who I am like since I was little you know like finding my identity has always been a, a priority to me since I was little but yeah my, my childhood was that you know so te viniste de Honduras I, I feel like when you came to 2015 a que edad tenías en ese entonces 13 tenía so ya tenías a good age where I feel like it's harder to kind of you know adaptarte al nuevo cambio de oh, sí. from Honduras to the United States how was that transition for you? Uh, it was definitely a challenge but not a challenge that I considered I couldn't overcome just because of what I had already been through in my life 
what all the challenges, all the obstacles that I had to to pass in order to even be alive at that moment that I had to transition from a whole different culture yeah. to this whole different culture. Uh, it was challenging. It was it was uh, sad at sometimes, you know, had to face a lot of a lot of bullying, a lot of uh, criticism because of my accent, the way that I dress. So, yeah, very challenging to like, you know. Uh, come from a whole childhood of, of, of parents giving me advice of Usted no escucha lo que digan, usted que le, que le, que le valga verga usted lo que le digan, que no le importe And then uh, keeping up with that philosophy for my whole life and having a really strong position in that in that sense But as soon as you come into to the U.S., they start bullying you in another language yeah. uh, You feel I felt alone, I didn't really have nobody to like vent to because my friends that were fluent Spanish speaking were all the way back home where I, where I consider home back then. I had to find my way through, you know, I had to like 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 be a scavenger, you know, like I had to like find all the little resources that I had and and make use of them, you know, like bro, even my phone, bro, they would make fun of my phone, bro, cuz I had an Android and LG. They would be like, "What the fuck is that?" El acento de un hondureño contra un mexicano Se nota. es super super diferente. Yo Se pienso nota. que anywhere in the United States, I mean, there's diversity anywhere, but I feel like majority of, you know, the Spanish speaking people are Mexican. So, yeah. obviamente, tu acento cuando hablas tu Español. Hasta lo pueden notar ahorita, you guys, cuando yo lo hablo, súper, súper diferente al tuyo. So, you know, I feel like kids, even back then, I feel like more, but nowadays too, I feel like are so cruel. Y miran a alguien que es súper diferente a ellos, y lo primero que piensan es, let me make fun of them. You claro, know what I mean? Claro, claro. Even, even Hispanics, you know, yeah. would, like, honestly, it was never really like, uh, the, like the American, yeah, like, yeah. people that, that, was, that was the ones bullying me or, like, like, talking to me. Like, it was mostly Hispanics. It was mostly Latinos, you know? Uh, they would call me, she, like, they would be like, Pinch Hondureño or like ah ese güey es de Honduras but like on some like you know like ah yeah, ese güey es de Honduras y ahí nace algo que ahora me río en realidad me río de esto un gran momento de mi vida yo mentí de mi nacionalidad cuando, cuando me di cuenta de que no era aceptado por ser de donde era cometí el error que ahora me da risa cometí el error de decir que no era de Honduras empecé a decir que era de España empecé <laughs> He's like, yo soy español. <laughs> Empecé a decir que era de Madrid. It sounded cooler. You know? It sounded cooler. And as soon, as soon as I started doing that, I suddenly became a cool ass kid. And like, bro, like people would be like, be like, oh shit, he's from Madrid. He's from Spain. They would be like, oh shit, he's from Spain. And then added to that, that I was like really good at soccer. Ooh, bro, I became like a golden boy, bro. Like all the fucking boys, bro. Like, like you know, like oh my boy. No, he's from Madrid. He's from Madrid. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I'm saying? De Honduras, la claro, y, y la, Which y is crazy because you, you know, know, sometimes as a kid, I feel like hasta a la propia gente a tus propios amigos te hacen hacer mentiras que like obviously no quieres hacer but then you feel like you need to claro. to fit in you know claro. what I mean lo justifico también por porque se me olvida que tenía 13 años y para mí 13 años yeah. todavía sos un nene no sabes yeah, yeah, yeah. no todavía no yeah no no ¿me you're, not, ¿me you're not fully there like to where you're like fuck does this really <laughs> affect me? Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, did it ever affect you mentally? Like, fuck, I'm over here, like, living a whole life at school. Y uh, en cuenta de lo, honestly, de la honestly, uh, uh, like, at the beginning, it was kind of like, damn, bro, like, you really have to do this. But then, you I can't, I can't, yeah, 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 Eh, se, lo sentía divertido igual porque yeah. all the people that I met at some point I already knew they were gonna be passenger because if they had to treat me different because of where I was from I know they, they, they didn't deserve a spot in my life yeah. so I did already did not give a fuck if I was lying to them or not <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I don't discard none of that people as acquaintances it's like as like people that I could still hang out with but I know that they weren't gonna be like my core circle yeah. you know so I was like alright bro I'm from Spain what's up nice to meet you bro I'm from Spain <laughs> nos acaba de decir mucho de you know tu juventud of what you were doing before social media en que momento did you get dragged into you know doing the YouTube doing the mm. TikTok como empezó todo eso yeah well um music is related to social media right in yeah. a sense so I was doing music already and since little I've been a musical child you know all those times that I was alone like thinking with myself I was thinking with music or I was thinking about music or whenever I felt uncertain about things I was making music so before, even before social media I was doing music that's literally a all I did, bro, music, yeah. like wake up music, like go, before going to sleep music, everything. But the whole opening to social media wasn't until I met Pao, until I met my girlfriend, because she already had a whole YouTube channel going on. She already was on her grind, you know, like yeah. she was already trying to make it. I never, never in a million years thought I was going to make a YouTube channel with her or or even be in a YouTube video overall. Like I never yeah. like even pictured myself on that. Everything led to everything that, that, that happened, you know what I mean? Like it's not like anything was forced, everything just 
It just flow. flew. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. you know. It's like it was. Like, there was a flow to it. And I was like, bro, like I gotta like hop on this wave, bro. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not. I'm not gonna drown. I'm not gonna drown for trying. You know. A veces también with social media, I feel like stuff sometimes. No porque sean accidentes, pero a veces pasan like so natural que like oh let's upload a video together. Oh shit, we blew up. Hey, that's like, literally exactly what happened with 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 Pau and me. Like uh, she posted me as in as in her crush. Like yeah. she was like I went with my crush to prom on a, on a uh -huh. YouTube video and people like uh, like automatically bro like oh my god more him more Fabio like please like you know like like they wanted they wanted to see me you know so we kept on making videos for her channel you know even I was always talking to her I'm like bro I don't want to be a YouTuber like I don't yeah. want I, like I don't want to be this because like I want to make music like, you know like I don't want to like do something else that's not music but then she convinced me bro I was like fuck it bro like you know it's fun bro like experiment everything live life you and know? I feel like also social media has given you like a platform like being oh, on TikTok definitely. being on YouTube to the point que el momento como tu hace poco you know not too long ago empezaste a lanzar música la gente like te está apoyando hasta en tu música you know sí, what I mean like sí. you guys as followers you guys as supporters Increíble. you know are not just there for like the pranks they're for there for everything la música yeah. you know como acabamos de decir la semana pasada you just dropped your EP mm -hmm. el real. Uh, el real how was that you know yo pienso que antes de que empecemos you guys for those of you guys that don't know you actually freestyle Yeah. You actually yeah. freestyle. Yeah. Nos va a chingar un, nos va a dar un poquito de eso. You guys, oh, yeah? a little taste. All right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm over here like, yeah, you are. <laughs> nos va a dar un poquito of a little freestyle moment. I feel like not too many, like, artistas can freestyle. Hey, sí, pero... No said honestly, I don't know if uh, if a lot of people like just hide it because I feel like it's like a fundamental, it's like fun a fundamental thing to have as a as an artist that is based on on rap on hip hop. You know, I, I could do it just because like I always liked it, I always practiced it, I always consumed it. I can't speak for for the rest of the artists. You know, I I've, I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of artists out there that know how to freestyle. They just haven't. Like, they just haven't know, put that out there, or they haven't like tried it. Like you know, but but it's it's in everyone, bro. It's like. Do you feel like it's intimidating you know? or por qué? Like I don't think it's intimidating. Well, maybe maybe yeah. In the sense, because you're like on the spot. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. No, it's like if you have something practiced, the way you're like, ah, I'm just gonna fucking memorize that shit and just yeah, do it. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I feel like it's like a, it's like a, it's like a beautiful practice, bro. It's like, it's like some, it's like it's meditational, like it's bro. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of people don't, don't haven't even tried it yet, yeah. you know, or like half tried it one time they sounded like ass and then they were like bro it's not, like for, it's me. not for me but it's not like that bro like you have to practice you know and bro once like once like you practice it even if you if you don't make music bro like just like you know being able to say what you want to say in the spot bro and rhyming at the same time is beautiful aquí convencimos a Fabio you guys que nos juega un pinche freestyle so aquí se las mando a uh, él uh, where'd you find this beat bro bueno 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 Primero, 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 primero Bueno, primero muchas gracias por invitarme al show La verdad que está bacano, me encanta hermano Bueno, te voy a enseñar A ver, a ver uh, uh. Para empezar Muchas gracias por la invitación, lo aprecio mucho en este momento La verdad quería venir hace tiempo No te lo voy a negar, pero la verdad que no pudimos coordinar Pero estamos muy bien y ahora estamos sentados acá Bueno, voy a aprovechar para hablar lo que siento Me estoy trabando en este momento, pero no me importa porque igual lo represento Me puedo equivocar, pero igualmente soy un ser muy correcto Así que voy a hablar bastantes vainas que quiero Escúchame, la gente me estaba criticando, me dijeron que algo aquí me hace falta porque el otro día fue un evento y decidí engancharme una falda para ser hombre y hacer esos huevos es lo que hacen falta así que mejor no me digan nada no me digan nada porque no les hace huevo falta para criticar para mal hablar de una prenda que para mí debería ser de género neutral así que mejor que se callen chaval que ustedes la verdad que no saben nada yo hago lo que quiero con mi vida y eso nunca va a cambiar la verdad a los que me quieran criticar y a los que me quieran odiar les voy a decir adiós mi amor como Cristian Nodal así que mejor chaval que se queden callados yo tengo demasiada mierda a los costados así que mejor los dejo ignorados a mí no me importa yo soy muy variado tengo demasiado estilo me lo tiro tranquilo sabes que yo represento a toda la gente desde el vinilo desde los tiempos de antes por eso es que no tengo contrincante porque soy muy perseverante y con quiera me paro de guantes dame una palabra la palabra que tú quieras te Pendeja. demuestro te frita que quieras 
cualquiera Me dice que rapé con pendeja Pero pendeja no es cualquiera Pendeja es la gente que critica La gente que me dice lo que ellos quieran Que no los escuche nadie Porque sabes que los mando a la mierda Dame otra palabra O si quieres fumamos una hierba Igualmente me dicen lo que ellos quieran Las mujeres me entregan las piernas Y yo le digo mejor mamá Calmate que tengo novia La cosa es muy obvia Así que mejor que se cada ¡Eh! Hey, you hey. guys, no mames. Eso no está practicado. Aquí, on the motherfucking spot. I am like, shook. what the fuck is your thought process? Cuando haces un pinche freestyle, because yo, ni con la beat, you guys, my whole fucking head went blank. La verdad, la verdad es que considero que para tirarte un buen freestyle, tenés que estar tranquilo. You know, si te pones, eh, si te exasperas, if you feel like, anxious about like if you could fuck up then you're not gonna have a good freestyle because like freestyling is about that like you know like like freestyling on the spot like put your mind in, on a blank spot you know and like just let everything flow and that's where, where your flow comes out from and then the words you just have to like be someone that uh is not afraid to speak because yeah. if you're afraid to speak then you're gonna limit yourself to say what you want to say also i think about stuff that i'm currently living when i freestyle you know that's why like i like to like freestyle with words in a spot because it's literally what i'm living in the moment yeah. you know es un pinche talento i could fucking never you know let's talk about music porque te tengo muchas preguntas de música you know seeing la música que has sacado tú and you know just hearing it live aquí on the show en qué momento tú you know decidiste like you know what i'm gonna get into music nos habías platicado que desde chiquito estabas practicando la música, pero ¿cómo fue your introduction to music? Well, bro, honestly, like, yeah, I've listened, I've been listening to music since I was little, right? Like, little, 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 like, that's all I've been doing, you know, like, playing games and listening to music. To formally get into music, it was more like a, like a why not, bro? Like, bro, I like music so much. I, I listen to music so much. I know that I I really could be good at it. So why not fucking do it, you know? Yeah. And one of those days that I was listening to to the type of music that I wanted to make, I was like, I was like getting, I'm like, bro, I could do this shit too. I, I downloaded an app on my phone, on my Android, bro, the Android yeah. that they made fun of. The Android <laughs> that they made fun of. I plugged in some Apple uh, headphones that I had, bro. I was like, Bro, this mic sounds good. I put a sock around it. Looked at B. I put it on the program, whatever. Figure it out, bro. And like rap on a fucking sock, bro. Like, and I was yeah. like, you know, estaba ahí cantando cosas que, like, you know, I was yeah. like, I was sounding like ass, you know, my first songs <laughs> and stuff. But like, you know, but I was like, bro, like I feel really comfortable doing this shit, yeah. you know. Just fucking kept doing it, you know. It was almost like I I try to make a song a day, and like as soon as I finished one, I wanted to make another one, and I had a view of things like, bro, like I, like you know, I was just fucking inspired. Yeah. Like, I was just super inspired. I was like, bro, fuck it, let's do it. This was around my sophomore year in high school where I, where I started trying this out. La semana pasada, you know, como habíamos mencionado, you dropped your EP. Yeah, yeah. la gente la ha estado gustando. You guys tienes canciones chingonas y has salido con canciones chingonas anteriormente. Gracias. How was it Muchas like gracias. working? on a project que obviamente para ti como artista obviamente has meant a lot to you and you've put a lot of hard work how was it like trabajando en este proyecto y ya pudiéndolo sacar para que tus seguidores para que tus fanáticos lo puedan escuchar la verdad que eh, trabajar un proyecto de conjunto eh, es muy estresante eh, demasiado estresante y mucho más porque para el tiempo el, para el tiempo que se me ocurrió en sacar un proyecto de una, una recopilación de canciones un EP eh, es cuando había soltado mi tema de latino que también gustó mucho a la gente y lo usé como lo usé como cabida viste para, para soltar más música con ese tipo de sonido con yeah. ese tipo de con ese tipo de vibe you know what I mean eh, entonces dije eh, a latino le está yendo súper bien es momento de sacar un proyectito para que la gente sepa de lo que estoy hecho ¿me entendés? Yeah. Entonces traté, traté de buscar un concepto, un concepto bueno. Y mira, un día la verdad que, que dije yo, esto no se siente real. Esto no se siente para nada real. Mi vida no se siente real. El apoyo de la gente es irreal. Todo este flash, todo, todo este, este, esta metrópoli donde vivo no se siente real. Entonces me enganché al, al estudio. Ya sabes, me puse un beat, me puse a tirar freestyle. Y, me, y empecé a decir, la vida que vivo no se siente real. And I was like, mmm. You fucking had something yeah, and you fucking had yeah, it. Yeah, and then I made a song, bro. Like, you know, like, made, made that song. I was like, bro, the EP has to talk about, like, how my life doesn't feel real. And then I started reflecting on how I have so many songs on my vault that consistently talk about that, you yeah. know, like, about, like, Like, you know, like how crazy my life feels. That's why the song, like, Bad Vibes No came up. You know, I was like, bro, like, no, fuck bad, bad vibes. Like, you know, that's just, 
You know what I mean? Like, that's my life now. Like, you know, it feels unreal, but I don't accept no bad vibes. You feel me? I, that one came up for, for that. La de my life, que literalmente dice, uh, vivo high, my life, no me digas que hacer. Again, bro, it feels unreal, bro. Like, tell motherfuckers, don't tell me what to do. La otra también, la de, la de billete. La de, si no saben quién soy, soy el que lo vino a poner a raya. Pa' que agarren el mambo, me llamo Fabio, futura estrella de la gran pantalla. Uh -huh. Par de años atrás. Like, I was like, bro, I just gather a bunch of songs that the concert was showing how unreal life felt. Tú sacaste es como acaba de decir la canción latino. And I feel like esta right. canción pegó mucho porque también habla de los struggles of being a Latino, you know, in the state. Mucha gente, they can relate to, you know, the struggles that it is being, you know, a foreigner in the United States. ¿Qué tan importante es para ti como artista hablar about real life struggles that you and other people have gone through? Um... Well, um, the song Latino is a song that is uh, dedicated to Latinos in the whole world, you know, because racism is a topic that goes everywhere. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a it's a bad thing that is lived in the whole world, like not necessarily only the United States. And there's Latinos in in London and fucking France. There's Latinos everywhere, bro. Like we're everywhere. We're like all around the world. Me knowing that I have a platform to to speak and I have the I have the Latino audience on my side listening, you know, I thought it's a it's an amazing idea to bring my thought into them, my opinion, like, you know, uh, spread awareness on, on what it is like to be Latino, you know, because I know that not only Latino people will listen to the song, you know, like, it's literally translated, yeah. bro. Like, you look, you look, motherfuckers translated to, like, yeah. know what it says. It's For me, it's really important to to use your platform as a, as a public figure to speak on stuff that you consider important. Los resultados están ahí. Si, yeah. va, si decís una pendejada, te va a caer mierda, porque yeah. para qué estás hablando pendejadas en una plataforma, ¿me entendés? Pero si vos agarras tu plataforma forma para hablar algo productivo lo más lo más lógico es que te vayan a dar apoyo yeah. me entendés entonces es como esa combinación el, el, el saber que yo necesito hablar de algo que yo quiero hablar y que sé que tengo una plataforma a la que le puedo hablar entonces me inspira me entendés yo quiero hacer una canción para que ellos escuchen lo que yo tengo que decir lo que yo opino lo que yo pienso so, para mí es muy importante eh, no solo en la música sino que a la gente en general que tiene una plataforma que goza de una plataforma digital el, el, el poner eh, cosas positivas me entendés hablar de cosas que están pasando talk about things that are important in, in the world you know not only don't only follow trends and like and yeah. like do like what everybody's doing like you know like you have to you have to bring your essence and like speak up of what you think you know what i'm saying and this is muy difícil to do and mm. hoy en día because algo que yo aprendí from someone actually super super big on social media es en que entre más opiniones tengas más chiquita se hace tu audience, you know what I mean? Sí. Pero a veces es lo que uno quiere, porque ¿para qué quieres tener a large audience que ni tú puedes ser yourself too? Correcto. You know what I mean? And I feel like for you con esa canción, tú hablaste about your struggles without possibly knowing que mucha gente que te mira, que mucha gente que te sigue have gone through those same struggles. Y yo pienso que por eso la canción has done so good because mm. it really talks about the struggles of a Latino being in the States. And And when I listen to that song, you guys, you know, your party, because it's also a party song, you know, like you can also get like down to it. Pero cuando en verdad te pones a escuchar the lyrics, you're like, damn, like he really se enfocó in the struggle. Yeah, and it's crazy. You know, I was there for your actual um, when you launched the song. Yeah, yeah, you were there. And Thank it's you crazy for coming. because <laughs> cuando la miras, el, cuando, when you performed it, you know, at the club, it was a hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Uno, uno borracho, no en verdad, <laughs> pon atención a las lyrics. But when you really, I sat down the next day and I was like, damn, like these lyrics are fucking real. For an artist to do that nowadays is really hard because a veces el artista dice, no, I'm just going to go the safe route and just talk about perreo, just talk about drinking. Algo that the general public can relate to rather than really speak what's on my mind. Yeah. Y, y sí, también está bueno también eh, hablar de cosas que no, que, que no importan en el sentido de que no tienes que ponerle, you don't have to put mine to listen to because obviously... Uh, The world is already sad as it yeah. is. Imagine even in music, as you fucking listen to music and all you fucking hear is like, damn, for real. And you fucking get sad and yeah. shit. So also, I do support all the songs that are like party and like, bro, like, let's get liberal. Forget about your problems. Like, I love that, you know, because also like all the time, I don't want to be thinking about yeah. problems. Shit, and like, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't want to make problematic music. 
You know what I mean? The fact that I have a platform to speak on it is it's amazing and I'm going to use it, como se dice, esporadicamente. Like, like, you know, like, de poco a poco, okay. ¿sabes? No, no voy a, a venir a invadir la sociedad con problemas que ya saben que tenemos. You're such a versatile artist because, como tú dices, no nomás hablas, you know, of real life shit. You've talked about your love life. You've mm -hmm. talked about so much shit that I feel like it also makes you a relatable artist porque no nomás estás hablando the stuff that's like sad or the mm -hmm. stuff that, you know, a la mejor a la gente, you know, get some thinking a certain way you talk about shit that goes on on your real life you right. know what i mean like you said you have a lot of love life, a lot of love music how does it go into like okay un día voy a hacer este tipo de música y otro día le das un pinche 360 <laughs> a hacer una music de amor um bueno en realidad en realidad en realidad que i don't know i don't know what the fuck is up with me right like i don't know like how my mind works sometimes because I'm capable of inspiring myself on stuff that happened to me like long as fuck ago and somehow I managed to like travel back in time and like position myself in that moment and feel what I felt in that moment yeah. and it, it's easy for me to write because like it's like it's like it's like whatever I lived in the past it's kind of like I could bring it to the present and like relive it in my head and just inspire myself and like say what I felt in that moment my songs are a mixture of that plus I have a book bro I have a, a binder like a blue binder and and I have uh, my my notes on my phone full of like ideas just ideas and, and like shit. lyrics like te puedo enseñar acá bro like I can literally go like this bro like hella like you know when the, whenever I get writer's block because I also get writer's yeah. block bro I either freestyle or I go through like my notes and I'm like oh what is this and I start reading and I'm like oh shit I wrote this like you this is me? pretty fire yeah you know? <laughs> <laughs> uno, like yeah. how good they could yeah. be you know yeah and then I also catch inspiration on, on my everyday life like you know from like from even the movies that I watch like I I have bars dedicated to like music that to, I like, listen to or like movies shit. that I watched or like anything anything yeah. really you know like I like like I watched love movies that I've gotten like bars out of you know I'm like I'm like oh shit that's deep that's me make a song you, yeah, know, what you know what I'm saying crazy. yeah and and a lot of that music is unreleased too but I'm gonna be dropping it soon so you guys better you guys, tap he has in a like, lot of unreleased music so I pónganse pendientes porque uno nunca sabe when he'll drop it you took your music on tour para ustedes que fueron a su tour lo tuvieron cuando el año pasado el año antepasado cuando fue el año pasado el año pasado they went on tour and you know you were performing for the first time your music live Correct. you know how was that experience and how did you prepare for such a thing it was insane bro like honestly like it was insane like, the fact that i was even like going on tour bro like like saying that like going on tour like you're going that's the gira like i can't it's like it's it's hard to process you know and and on top of that i go around all the states singing my music you know singing the songs that that means so much to me, you know. Canté, canté mucho una que se llama Lo Que Siento. Mm -hmm. That's a song that I wrote for my girlfriend. Having my girlfriend as an inspiration for a lot of my songs, like a lot of my love songs next to me while I'm singing it in front of a stage full of people that, that love us and support us and that know the meaning behind the song, that know the inspiration behind it. Just like jamming to it and like feeling it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. Es algo, como tú dices, kind of surreal, you know, like, es diferente, yo no canto, obviamente, so when I meet people, it's just like, hello, I love your short. So, viendo que la gente, you know, that you see online, you know, porque a veces I feel like nos podemos perder, and um, we forget that, like, these people that are commenting, that these people that are liking our pictures are actual people, like, que están viviendo una vida aparte de la vida que vivimos nosotros. True. Porque cada quien, hasta una persona que ni tiene la plataforma que nosotros la tenemos, a veces se le olvida que there's other people living around us you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so i'm sure it must be like a surreal moment seeing all that support you get online yeah. and persona yeah you literally know? literally literally bro like that's probably like contributed uh like subliminally on me like coming up with the ep like you know like i probably I, i forgot but i probably thought about that too you know yeah. like how unreal all this shit feels bro like you know like Bro, like, I know that you don't sing. I know that I know that you don't, like, you don't do what I so do. I know you don't have talent. No, 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 no. No, so I know you don't sing, bro, yeah. but, like, just imagine, bro. Like, imagine you go in front of a stage of people. Yeah. And people are just, like, like moving their neck, like, you know, like, or, like, vibing, like, to, vibing like, what to, you're saying. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just insane. It's absolutely fucking insane. It's so surreal, bro. Like. 
can't believe it. Aparte de todo el amor que you get, you know, on your music, online, you know, obviamente siempre están los haters. There's always people that either doubt your career, that have told you que, ay, let it go, music's not for you, que no la vas a hacer. ¿Cómo le haces tú to deal with those people? I simply don't deal with those people. There was never a point in your life where you were like, fuck. Like, oh, yeah. You even doubted yourself? Oh, no, of course I went through, like, patches because of, because of comments, you know, like, uh, like uh, at some points I was like bro like damn like he just said some fucking shit that, yeah. like you know like why would you say that bro yeah I'm <laughs> like know? damn like damn bro like what did I do to you fool like you feel me and and it probably like brought me down that was a lot in the past you know yeah. still to this day uh, sometimes I might read a comment that's like ah joder puta me, me lastimaste but no le presto mucha atención en yeah. realidad porque en persona nunca me han dicho nada malo. A veces hasta tus haters son la gente que en verdad are gonna they're fucking like, bring you to success. They're the ones that support the most. The most, because they're always, you know, it's funny, like, there's always this one person, y no le voy a dar pinche el día naming them, but it's always like the same person that's the first one in my comments whenever yeah. I upload a new video. Probably when this one goes live on YouTube, they'll probably be the first two. Yeah, yeah. And it's always talking Literally. shit. <laughs> And I'm like, pendejo, si supieras que... Tú comentando, tú viendo el pinche video, me, me, me estás, estás dando dinero. Me estás dando una visita, me gracias. Me estás dando más de lo que dices que, ¿para qué le dan a ese pendejo tanta fama? I'm like, pues tú pendejo le estás dando a este pendejo más claro, fama. Claro, claro. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I feel like you need to learn how to be like, you know, no, al final del día, todo lo que me dicen es una reflexión de ellos y no tuya. Claro, you know, es una, like, es una inseguridad de ellos. Exactly. Viven una pinche vida miserable que la quieren reflectar a ti para que tú te sientas igual que ellos. Correcto. Bueno, eh, eso... I think that that's like literally like the, the reason why a lot of hate comments exist because they're reflecting an insecurity or like they just want to talk shit. They have nothing better to do. You know what I mean? And like, why would you pay attention to that people, bro? Like, yeah. like if, if you already know that they have nothing else to do than hate, then like feel for them, bro. Like fucking pray for them. Feel sorry <laughs> for them, bro. Like imagine like, imagine I'm just like living, living my life, doing what I love to do. I'm putting out content that... I'll, I know I enjoy for sure and I know a lot of people enjoy for sure do you think I'm gonna fucking stop doing all of that because of your hating ass comment fuck no también como tú dices tú a lo mejor al principio sí te daban ese sentimiento sí. de fuck en verdad like valgo verga <laughs> pero al fin del día es lo que es lo que hace la diferencia with someone that makes it and someone that does it yeah. tampoco, because, di tampoco dije nunca yo ah, valgo no, no, verga no, no, verdad no, pero no, 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 but you know like a veces uno when you get all these hate comments or something you're like fuck like I'm really like not good or like I'm not like for me like especially like when I was barely starting like and I would get hella hate comments like about my weight or about my makeup or about this la piensas and you're like damn I really suck or I really am not made for this pero es lo que te digo lo que hace la diferencia contra alguien que la, que la hace y contra alguien que no el que no la hace es porque se deja parar con esas con esos, esos comentarios and I feel like por el resto de nuestra vida as long as we're on social media vamos a seguir mm -hmm. you know getting criticized yeah. so tienes que aprender a, a ¿cómo se dice? Um, you have to learn to deal with it you know what I mean yeah. porque si no te chingas tú por un pinche comentario que la sí. persona a lo mejor ni, ni they don't even mean it you know? yeah correcto y, y capaz you were so inspired yeah. in the moment that you decided to film what you filmed did what you did you were so inspired you were so happy so confident on putting it out and then you put it out and then you receive negative comments then you start doubting it then like yeah. you start like regretting posting it and that's bad you know because like obviously you had the inspiration at first and you were happy at first then now suddenly you read a bad comment now it's like damn I shouldn't have sin saberlo la propia gente que te está dejando ese comentario yeah, lo que, lo are shutting hace. down your creativity yeah. are shutting down como piensas yeah, tú yeah but, but you know but but then also as a as an entertainer as the as the creator yeah. it, it's about that it's about not allowing that like not allowing a comment to gotcha. do that to you mm -hmm. you know like I still live it to this day you know and I still have to remind myself I'm like bro relax bro like you got this shit like hating ass people como habías comentado en tu freestyle you know we went to a Met Gala wedding which was such a beautiful Fucking beautiful fire, wedding you guys and Fabio you know wore you know un chalequito and you know a skirt like pants porque eran pantalones no? si sí, y porque no encontré una falda because I, I couldn't find a skirt, a skirt. So, so I was like oh this looks like a skirt fuck it you y know? yo pienso que mucha gente you know obviamente a lot of people loved it but there was a lot of people like in the comments like oh that's not it or like just you know name calling you stuff yeah how did you feel about 
in that moment. Hey, because you looked very confident when you I, were at I, that party. I was, bro. I, I still am, and I'm happy, and I'm glad that I did it because, bro, like everybody on the party, like came up came up to me and gave me a positive comment about yeah. it, and those are the ones that I take with me, yeah. the positive comments, you know, and and also, bro, I wore that I wore that outfit for like a couple reasons. First, first, first of all and foremost, bro, I defend that clothes have no gender. And a, cl- and, a, and a piece of clothing does not define your sexuality. You, you're, you don't have to be fulano o mengano o lo que sea para ponerte lo que te quieras poner en realidad. ¿Me entendés? Add that to, it's a Met Gala team wedding. I'm like, oh, bro, it's Met Gala, bro. I'm f- el doble, wey, pa yeah. encima el doble, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go all out, yeah. I gotta go all out. I gotta like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna do what I want. Me la puse y ya. El que, el que no le gustó, qué bueno que no te gustó, pero... No, ¿qué te puedo you're decir? the one wearing it. You I'm know, the one wearing, the one wearing it, bro. It. Like, I'm the one wearing it. That shit was mad comfy, bro. Mad comfortable. I was probably more comfortable than than most people that were wearing something else. Like, you know? Like, tight <laughs> My shit was hella shit, loose. Yeah. I'm like, let me tell you, I was fucking uncomfortable and I was wearing a fucking red suit. So, <laughs> I was like, ya quisiera, ten, ya quisiera tener la falda tu sala, you guys. And I feel like at the end of the day, es lo que, te, es lo que dices tú, like, a veces la gente está, you know, especially when they're like the male straight guys, it's always the people that are so, you know, insecure about or not confident about their sexuality. Like, a veces es como, ¿cómo se dice esa palabra? Um, I feel like sometimes it's, it's also like like people following a stereotype yes. that has been like built on their life since they were little. Like, you know, like they've been told what's right and what's wrong. You yeah. know, like they've been told like what's what's what yes and what's what, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, uh, what's black and what's white. What's like this and what's that. Like, you know, like they've been always told what is what. So like they don't have a they don't have a, a like a like a self reasoning yeah. uh, cap, uh, capability like they're not they're not um, como se dice capaz they're not uh, capable, capable they're not capable of generating their own opinion because they're they're based on others' opinions yeah. they're based on 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 shit that you probably don't even feel but you just feel it because everybody else around you feel it you know and you feel confident like on that bubble because you don't you don't get criticized if you're on that side or that's what you feel like you know i'm talking to the haters you feel me? i'm talking ah, to the haters, like, I'm <laughs> I'm talking to the haters. Yeah, yeah. me wearing a skirt is not gonna change a thing about me a thing about my my inside my my head like nothing bro it's a piece of clothing bro it's like just like this you know what Igual I'm saying? Como like, que te la pones, te la Igual me la pongo me la quito al, al, al mismo tiempo cuando yo me desengancho eso sigo siendo la misma persona no cambié no le hice daño a nadie ah, no estoy buscando no estoy buscando problemas no estoy buscando pleitos you know like we both have an opinion right like the like the crit the the criticize people like the people that's criticizing me and me you know like we both have the right to have an opinion right the problem is that you have a problem and i don't have a problem And that's why you want to fucking bring your problem to me. You feel me? And like, what the fuck you want me to do, bro? Like, you want me to, like, like read your comment and be like, oh, yeah, you're like, right. Like, quitarte la pinche yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I won't ever do I it again. I should have worn pants. I should have worn pants. I'm so sorry, bro. Nah. Ya se está mirando un poquito más que antes. You know, people being able, able to creatively express themselves, you know, with clothing. Because cuando yo también empecé esto de um, Instagram and everything, I've been doing this, I want to say, desde los 16 años. 15, 16, the makeup, you know what I mean? And in ese entonces, era algo que criticaban mucho que, oh my God, boys in makeup was not a big thing back in the day. Pero yo pienso que entre los años, obviamente todavía no es fully accepted, pero ya lo miras más común. Mm-hmm. Ya si alguien miras un boy en maquillaje, ya ni casi lo voltean a ver así como raro como antes. And I feel like, you know, I mean, with clothing, it's becoming the same thing, you know? Yeah, I, bro. And I feel like, like, clothing, bro. Like, why? Like, why? You mad over clothing, bro. Like, it's fashion, bro. Actually, like, yeah. bro, I looked at the I looked at the outfit, like, all together, bro. I was like, bro, like, bro. No, what? it like, was fucking very, it was I very, love the bro. I low-key think that todos los hombres, ahí, you guys, I feel like you had, like, Eras, si estaban haciendo best and worst dress, I'm sure you would have been on the best dress. Thank you, Because it really was on theme. It really was fashionable, you guys, because a veces even some people that follow, you know, I los miran in the real Met Galas y todo, they follow the theme, but it doesn't look fashionably right. <laughs> y tú en todos los aspectos, hasta en los zapatos, the jacket, todo lo que traías was so cohesive y todo, you know, went perfectly. Thank ya you, si bro. a la gente no les gustó, pues como tú dices, es un pinche pedo, no el tuyo. Yeah, exacto. Y, y te hago una pregunta a vos. Cuando me miras con ese conjunto, when you see me with that outfit, what do you think about me? Like, what's like, what do you think about me? Like, bro, like, I guarantee you, you don't be like, be like, oh, 
mala persona, fuck that no, guy. Like, I honestly wearing... didn't think anything. I honestly was like, oh, damn, that looks dope. <laughs> That's literally and it. To me, it's because, you know. Literally it, bro. I feel like it's es la cosa que hay gente en el internet que are so close-minded. Mm -hmm. Que no más viven en un círculo, como tú dices, de lo bueno y lo malo, de lo que les enseñaron. Lo que les enseñaron. Y no van a un mundo donde no saben que hay diferentes opiniones, hay diferentes maneras de vivir. Obviamente, tú como dijiste, just you wearing that skirt does not define your sexuality. So I didn't even think about your sexuality in that moment. Exactly, bro. My like, thought was like, oh, damn, that's dope. Looks dope. Like, he went overboard, like, hasta hizo de más to really fit the theme, you you know what I mean? Because a lot of the men were just wearing suits. Yeah. Which is cool to each their own. You know what I mean? It's but chilly. like, it was cool. It was different. And you see it a lot in artistas. You see it a lot in people being the difference without them affecting their sexuality. You know sure, what I mean? Bro. Which and, is dope. And, and bro, and from, and from my understanding, at the beginning when they invited to the wedding, they were like, Met Gala. Yeah. If you're not wearing a horse on your back, don't come in. Yeah, you will, you will no, be no. kicked out. They literally did see. But see, look, Africa si no sabía dicho eso. Africa said, if you're not wearing like something fuck, if you're not, if you didn't bring a star from the fucking sky and wear <laughs> and wear it as a backpack, don't come in my party. Yo, por eso estaría tanto nervios, you guys. Danny ended up going in all black because he was stressing out. He was like, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm just si me sacan, me sacan, and I was like, pues si te sacan a ti, me sacan a mí también. So it's crazy because like you really see, you know, like you, you were. Really expressing how you felt at that moment, and I feel like at the end of the day, that's what Im what is important to you. Yeah, como dices tú. If it's not, a, if it, if your opinion on the take on, if your opinion on how you take the Met Gala theme is different from others, as long as you like your opinion, that's all that matters. Period. Stay pure to yourself. We're approaching the end of today's episode, but antes de que nos vayamos, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it over to Fabio para que nos diga what is next for Fabio Guerra. Eh, primero que todo. Thank you so much for having me here, bro. No, thank you for Means being here. Means a lot. Here. We literally are. We're literally on the tenth floor of a building right now. Ah, like, he's a like private <laughs> studio, <laughs> and a whole warehouse. It's on my sala. <laughs> but it's amazing, bro. Like, thank you so much for having me here. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to for you to let me lend me your platform to speak. Appreciate that a lot uh, for everybody that that was watching and that became a supporter from this moment. Um, I encourage you to check out my music, my music videos on my YouTube channel. Everything is very well made. I, I hope you like it, you know, like I make it with a lot of love for you guys to enjoy it. Uh, more music coming soon. Make sure to listen to Irreal porque está cabrón. Está, está muy bueno, está muy bueno. Lo, lo recomiendo mucho. Follow me on all social media. I literally, I'm everywhere on YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. As Fabio Guerra, you can find me right there. And I hope I can with your support. All right, you guys. So with that being said, I les voy a dejar todas sus redes sociales down below and van a aparecerles aquí on the screen. Um, so make sure you guys go ahead and follow me. Y también no se les olvide de seguirme a mí para que no pierdan any future episode. And with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for being with us here today thank you for, for fucking me. spitting bars and everything. Ojalá que les hubiera gustado a ustedes muchísimo. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace Bye, out. guys.